Hello friends, welcome to our channel today. I will tell you how the cast of 1964 Gilligan's Island has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1964 and now in 2023. How they've changed compared to when they were on the show. Let's get into the video. Alan Hale as the skipper. He played Captain Jonas Grumby, mainly called the skipper. He was the owner and captain of the boat and was very tough but had a soft side. After the popularity of the show, he opened up a restaurant in Los Angeles called The Lobster Barrel. He was also a guest star on many shows like ALF and Simon and Amp. Simon, frequently is the skipper character. He sadly died in 1990 after battling cancer. He was 68, Jim Backus as Thurston Howell. One problem that even money can't solve, getting stranded on an island. Thurston Howell III found that out the hard way. He played a rich man that realized that he couldn't use his money to get off the island. He's also known for voicing the character Mr. Magoo. Throughout the 30s and 40s, you'd be more likely to hear Bacchus on the radio. That's where he developed his popularity. But his voice became even more famous in 1949 thanks to his role as Mr. Magoo. He couldn't know this at the time, but there were a few similarities between Magoo and Thurston Howell III. Both were painfully rich, but still got into mischief their money couldn't fix. For Thurston, it was usually Gilligan's fault. For Magoo, it was from being the most nearsighted human in history. Change your prescription, Mr. Magoo. Jim also appeared in Rebel Without a Cause, playing James Dean's character's father. He also starred in Don't Bother to Knock with Marilyn Monroe. Off the set and onto the green, Bacchus was an excellent golfer. Later in life, Bacchus became an author. He even wrote an autobiography with his wife, Forgive Us Our Digressions. He also died of pneumonia in 1989 at the age of 76. Natalie Schaefer as Lovey Howell. Even before Gilligan's Island, Natalie was typecast as a beautiful sophisticate with a fancy background. Schaefer probably channeled her own love for the finer things, since she only agreed to do Gilligan's pilot for the trip to Hawaii. Fittingly, she ended up marrying actor Louis Calhoun who also got typecast a lot in old, rich, upper-class roles. The pair divorced nine years later, though. Life imitated art with Schaefer because she actually had so much real estate investment, she raked in millions of dollars. Her wealth was less of a secret than her age, which she very stubbornly stayed vague about. Her contract stipulated no close-ups because she was 13 years older than Jim Backus. She played Thurston's wife, who depended on his money. She started her career on Broadway and later moved to films. Natalie appeared as a guest star on many shows after Gilligan's Island, including Mayberry and The Brady Bunch. She also died from cancer at the age of 90 in 1991 and left all her money to Gilligan's Island co-star Dawn Wells to keep her dogs very well taken care of. Bob Denver as Gilligan. He played the lovable and often gullible Gilligan. Bob Denver got his big break in Hollywood with a starring role in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, in which he played the very first beatnik of American television, the legendary Maynard G. Krebs. The show was revolutionary at the time because no other program had teenagers as its leads. It also provided a hurdle for Bob. However, legendary Gilligan creator Sherwood Schwartz wanted a stumbling innocent type, which Maynard wasn't. Thankfully, when the two met, Bob was able to prove his lovability. He was also well known for the good guys and Dusty's Trail. Bob also played Gilligan or himself as a guest star in many series over the years. Later, he found his footing as a radio personality. Through it all, Denver and his wife Dreema tried to give back through their Denver Foundation, which gave funds to families with special needs. What an admirable legacy. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2005 at the age of 70 from pneumonia. Tina Louise as Ginger. Tina began acting in 1955 and 58. She even won the Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer for her work in God's Little Acre. She was multi-talented, also releasing a 1957 album which paired her with legendary saxophonist Coleman Hawkins in its time for Tina. Just a year later, the stunning Ginger was named the world's most beautiful redhead by the National Art Council. She was definitely a favorite of the male audience. She played the movie star Ginger, and was always ready to entertain the other passengers. She did not appear in any of the Gilligan's Island spin-offs and sequels. Tina is still a working actress and most recently appears in the film Tapestry with Stephen Baldwin. 
After Gilligan's Island, you probably remember her from the Stepford Wives as well as guest roles on many hit shows, including three episodes of Chips. Tina took a bit of a break from her career in the 2000s and is now 88 years old and thriving. Russell Johnson as the professor, high school science teacher Roy Hinckley known, better known as the professor. He ended up with the role after the original actor, John Gabriel, came off as too young for the vast amount of knowledge and education the professor was supposed to have. Johnson soared to great heights early on, literally, as an aviation cadet with the U.S. Air Force. His time with the Air Force brought him to the Pacific Theater of World War II, where he actually flew several dozen combat missions. Several injuries caused him to be honorably discharged, and when he returned home, the G.I. Bill set him up with the Actors Lab in Hollywood. Quickly making a name for himself, Johnson caught the interest of Gilligan's Island producers. As part of trying out, they wanted him to take his shirt off. Johnson refused, but he still got that role. Even with this hiccup, his time on the show left such an impression on him that he wrote an autobiography, here on Gilligan's Isle. Later, he appeared in Dynasty, Beyond Westworld, and The Jeffersons. Sadly, he also died in 2014 from kidney disease. He was 89 years old. Dawn Wells as Marianne. Marianne was definitely one of the few characters here you definitely wanted to be stranded on an island with. Ginger or Marianne was a joke thrown around by fans everywhere. Marianne was an excellent cook and always had great words of wisdom for the wayward islander. Everything about Marianne was good, wholesome, encouraging. She played the sweet girl who gave advice to everyone and cooked great meals with what she had. This former Miss Nevada originally wanted to become a ballerina, but it just wasn't in the cards. Seems it was fate because Wells has had a fantastic career on the screen and also on the stage. Later, she appeared in some movies and shows, but also had a successful theatrical career. She taught acting and ran a clothing line for people with disabilities called Wishing Wells Collections. She battled dementia in her later years before the world learned she sadly passed away in December 2020 at age 82. We will certainly miss her and always remember her as Mary Ann. Thank you friends for watching the video until the end. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like thanks a lot friends.